Here we go again from another white liberal that has the audacity to uh, challenge some black Americans at the thought that they may have the ability to actually think for themselves. Bette Midler posted a picture of some black Americans standing behind our president Donald J. Trump at one of his rallies. And then she posed the question, how much did they get paid to be there? Are you kidding me? Are you suggesting that we as black Americans have, uh, have no brains whatsoever? This is just like the white liberal that I ran into at the airport last week after I had just left the White House. I was at the White House last week I was so excited about being able to hear from and speak to my president. I wasn't paid to go there. There was a lot of black folks there. They weren't paid to go there. There was Latinos there. There were Asians there. There was a lot of white folks too. We are a unified group that support this president. None of us are paid to go so show our support for this president. You know why we show support for our president? Bette Midler, I think I understand. You and all the other elites that have issues, that, that literally want to let your racism be shown all over social media, you and all your liberal elites, I think I know what it is. I think I know exactly what it is. You drink the CNN Kool-Aid or the MSNBC Kool-Aid or the ABC or CBS Kool-Aid. They're all pushing the same Kool-Aid. Donald Trump is a racist, taking little clips, trying to paint him this way or that way. While the rest of us here in America... The real people, the hardworking people, the people that care about their families, the people that care about jobs, the people that actually care about their future, because they're not an elite, they don't have millions of dollars, they care about what's real in this country. You know what we're thinking about? We're thinking about the fact that black unemployment is at a historic low in this country. Hispanic unemployment, historic low in this country. Unemployment for women, 50, 60 plus year low in this country. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at the fact that there's more jobs available today than there are people to fill these positions. So Bette Midler, while you seem to have a problem with people that look like me supporting this president, please go ahead and continue to spew your hate. Go ahead and continue to show all America what true white liberalism is. Because if people began to actually trace the roots to the white liberal and the white Democrat, folks, you'd find they founded the KKK. They fought to keep Jim Crow. They fought to keep us segregated. Even Joe Biden said, when integration happens in schools, they'd be like a racial jungle for my kids. Yeah, that Joe Biden said that. So while all of you continue to have a problem with why we show support for this president, what you actually are doing is showing all of America your true hate, your true selves, the real discrimination that still exists today. It's not between black and white anymore. Now it's between political ideologies. We don't believe the way that you do and you have to cast us aside. You have to paint us off. You have to write us off. Jim Carrey's done it. Uh, Alyssa Milano's done it. Kathy Griffin's done it. Is there a pattern emerging here with white liberals that seem to bash Alyssa Milano, the new Trump hat, is the KKK hood? Well, guess what? This ain't no hood. I never wore no hood. None of my family ever wore no hood. In fact, some of my family actually were on the other side of people wearing hoods. And it was white liberals. It was white Democrats. And a whole lot of my white brothers and sisters stood up with my black brothers and sisters and fought against that racism and fought against that push to keep us segregated and keep us down. And you are just doing the exact same thing today. So Bette Midler, thank you for showing America what hate looks like. Thank you for showing America what discrimination looks like. Thank you for showing America the ugliness of liberalism. I got to hear the president speak two days ago. He was here in Washington, D.C. I so love this president. I so support this president. And I'm starting to see more and more people of all colors especially those minorities that you seem to think can't think for themselves that are coming out and showing support for their president because what he's actually doing is what he said he was going to do. He's making America great. He didn't promise us all these things and then get in office and do the other like Obama did. He's actually doing something for this country.